Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of Mark Board brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Tuesday, July 7th. We got, again, a light week this week, and today's no different. We got uh, the trade deficit, which is a minor uh, influence on our um, market report here. But uh, last report we had back in April at negative $40.7 billion. It was supposed to widen more to 42.1, and it did widen a little bit, but not as much as uh, forecast. So slightly better news than uh, we thought at negative 41.9 billion. Uh, stock market's down. It's taking its cue more from the un investors getting more more uncertain what's going to happen with Greece now. Uh, the uh, foreign min or the ministers are in uh, Europe uh, trying to meet today. As a matter of fact, as uh, you know, the referendum they got a no uh, in Greece on Sunday. Satisfied with. Uh, but there's also talk that uh, this meeting could also lead the way for pave the way for them to potentially lead the uh, the eurozone. So uh, leave uh, the euro. Also, um, some of the things investors are kind of keeping an eye on, but you're not getting as much press is uh, downtrend China Chinese stocks market. So they've been down, going down a bit, and that's concerning them as uh, things ha uh, the tr seems like their economy hasn't been picking up at all. And, you know, if China's not doing well, it's going to reflect on most of us. Now, one of the um, things that could pull back, come back and hurt us in regards to the Greece situation is uh, with the euro, Greece possibly leaving, the euro uh, the, has been decreasing or weakening against the dollar. So as a result of that, the dollar strengthening, it hurts our exports. So we're, uh, it, our cost of goods become more expensive overseas and our so therefore, it's tougher on our exports. So it might slow us down as a result. As well, as a result, let's take a look here at the bond market. So of course, you know, stock market's uh, taken down. So that money's going into the bond market, which is helping out. We are seeing an improvement in the interest rates. So as you can see, these are best rates we've seen since um, around six twenty one. So not bad. We, since we've reached these levels here. Uh, again, uh, got a little bit of improvement here. We've been kind of going in a sideways pattern, but if this continues, we could see maybe a breakup, maybe um, get some type of correction, get an improvement in the interest rates uh, going forward. All right. Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow tomorrow we'll have probably one of the bigger news weeks uh, this week, and that will be the FMC minutes. Uh, see what the, on the back end, see if there's any forecasts or uh, when and how they might raise interest rates uh, in the latter part of the year. Okay, take care, have a good day, and see you tomorrow. Bye.